it's more of uh, it's still thinking. You really got not think so much, but knowing what to do and just doing it, trusting your technique. And, um, on the fullback spot, you have to try to get through a hole, and sometimes it's not going to be there, so you have to figure a way around. And on defense, you have your assignment, and you stick to your hole. I think that's the biggest difference is being able to go from one gap to a different one when stuff closes and being able to come and balance on somebody instead of just really trying to get into somebody. You got to really come down and break down on him so he doesn't shed you or nothing. So in some ways it might be a little bit more free-flowing. You get to make a, make a cut, make a decision instead of just sticking with that one one uh, gap that you were assigned to. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really just breaking down, trying to get the blocks right. Uh, is it any different working with, uh, or I guess you didn't work with them last year, but uh, what kind of energy does uh, Coach KP bring to the team? It seems like everyone talks about how energetic. He's a very intense coach, probably one of the most intense coaches I've ever had, especially when you make a mistake you don't like. Um, so you really got to be on your P's and Q's around him. You uh, try to know your stuff fast and really know the material he needs you to know. Yeah. What's the film room been like when they watch back? You running over Keon Riley, are you burning Mike Warriors? <laughs> uh, we watch it a few times <laughs> and then we get over it and just we really focus on the mistakes instead of the, the good really. But we do watch the good sometimes. You talk a little trash at all? Uh, no. Some of those guys, I know you're on defense. Because last they year. always, they always try to talk to me after. I'm gonna take your knees out, stop playing. Like, yeah. so I'm like, man, I don't know what else to do. Like, coach said, don't make no moves. I can't start to juke you. Right. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> when and how uh, did you find out they wanted you to switch to fullback? Uh, it was before spring ball, and then uh, I tried during spring. Mm -hmm. Been running with it since. Who talked to you about it? What, what did they say? Coach Moore. He just um, he mentioned me saying uh, he called me and was like, "Hey, what do you think about playing fullback for switching up the offense?" Um, and, and I said, "If that's where you guys see me being most successful, then let's, let's run it. Like, I'm ready to do it for the team." Um, you mentioned you played offense in high school. What position did you play? I played tight end. Tight end. The defensive line. Okay. Has it been different, uh, you know, going to fullback? And, and how how much did you catch the ball uh, as a tight end in high school? High school, I caught the ball like every three games, maybe. Okay, so not a whole lot. Not a lot. Just, you know, simple corner route. My only route in the offense. Right. It was open every time, though. Did you get touchdowns? Yeah. Got a few. <laughs> My first touchdown. Spiked it. You know. Didn't get the ball after a while. I yelled at. <laughs> Ever since then, I was like, all right, every time I score, I'm just going to act regular. But, um, yeah, I never played fullback. But you did a lot of blocking. So. Yeah, I, I, that was my, my job. Really. Has that helped you in your, in your switch now? Um, yeah, it helped me. It, it comes, it, it's coming back to me. Uh, trying, to, trying to get better at it. Yeah.